Hello and welcome to another the computer video tutorial. Continuing on with the last video I made, applications that I highly advise getting if you have a Mac. So the last one I showed you about, Chrome, if you haven't checked that one out yet, click here and I'll show you. So the next application, this is going to be a really short one since there's not much to modify. One I highly recommend getting, Stuff It Expander. Now, if you have another version like me, if you have an early version of Snow Leopard or Lion when it's out, I right now have the beta version since I am actually a developer. So Stuff It Expander, if you see, as you see, just click here. As you see, I already have it installed on mine, but if you haven't, just type, go here, type Stuff It Expander, and you'll see this, and just click on it, and hit install and it'll start downloading that's pretty much it and then you install it however if you do not have the app store if you are not lucky enough to have that then what you would just do I mean, literally, I mean literally it's just as easy just as easy as go on to google type stuff it x oops stuff it expander it's going to turn up really easily Don't forget to type Mac if you have a Mac like I do. Click it, you can get it for free. So, I mean, there's literally a bunch of places. If I was going to get it, I'd recommend getting it from CNET as opposed to the, uh, the person who created the program since I personally am a great fan of CNET. So, that's my recommendation. You can do whichever you want. But once you've got it, now what does it do? Okay, so stuff it expander. Now I don't have it down here. I have it in my launch pad. It's not mine. So stuff it expander. I will open it. And the application, when you first open it, it doesn't really seem like it has a user interface. A user interface. All it has is a little thing like expander. So you're familiar. If you have a Mac or a PC for that matter, you should be familiar with zip files give me emails all the time so here I have a little file called zipped and all it is is text thing that says this is a file that has been zipped even though it hasn't so here I have a zip of this file so I mean obviously Mac you used to double click it'll unzip it for you and it's really convenient I mean Mac have that built in but there are some files that aren't just zip files they're like other they're more compressed than that so if you check in, I believe I have some of my downloads folder. So you'll see like something like this, app1mac.sit. What is that? Well, this literally is the company's own file type. It is an archive, and it is made just for this program to expand. Now, so basically all I have to do I want to expand that to already have it. You can either click File, Expand, and find the file from somewhere, or you can just get a file from the desktop and drag it onto that. Either one works, and there's not really an advantage either one. And no preferences in here really. I mean, there are a few. I mean, you can choose where you when you expand something where it goes it has little compatibility with uh, growl and I mean besides that it's not really anything I mean you can set which like these two these different formats that it can open you can set which one opens it I mean you can set so you don't even have to do that you can just set as sound as this one if you download any file like that it will automatically open it with this application which is really nice but I really don't need it since I don't download files that often that I have the stuff it format but I highly recommend if you have downloaded these types of files that often this would be a really good idea to assign if you like to assign RAR assign all these things we assign any of these but it's not worth it for me since I don't really download them often so that's really it. Pretty short video, I guess. Well, maybe not five minutes long, but 
anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you have any questions, comment, send me a message. Stay tuned for more videos, and again, please subscribe.